It's been about a month since I followed the link. It still sends chills down my spine whenever I think about it. Let me explain. Some time ago, I was browsing some 4chan ripoff v-board and came across a thread whose titles was simply a mass of random keys, as if someone punched them keyboard a few times and the text was pretty much the same, but it had several letters repeated with what I thought was random text thrown in. Since I had too much time on my hands and word open, I decided to get rid of the repeated letters. Surprisingly, it turned out to be a link without punctuation. It was still a mass of letters, but the HTTP and COM were too much hard to ignore, so I got some free antivirus and prepared for the worst. The site was full of ads, so I came back with the ad blocker, if I, with the ad blocker enabled. Once ad blocker was on, the site was just block orange. With a small download link in the center, I clicked it and zip file entered. 432p was downloaded, and once on zip, the file contained two things a .gba file and a copy of Visual Boy Advance to play it in. So I filed up the emulator and started to play the, the 432b.gba. It played okay, but the turbo button didn't work. The graphics were akin to Final Fantasy Advance 6, but it was not the same game. Instead of the developer name screen, it simply cut to a title, and play was the only option. So I pressed X to select it, and it cut to another black screen for about 4 seconds. It loaded to a young boy wearing something akin to a Link outfit, but a muddy brown instead of green. The premises of the game were simple, run from a pack of wolves or die by getting eaten, which turned out to be pretty fun. I didn't really see this as creepy, but then again, I'm not one of those paranoid creepypasta protagonists. After eventually, after eventually being chased down and killed a couple of times, I noticed something after the fifth death though. The screens where the wolves could be seen eating you were getting longer and the character would grow thinner and thinner and got slower. The walls would stay the same speed however, I wondered if possible by this logic to die before the game begun. After about 50 tries, the character looked near death by the time the screen faded into him, and the walls pounced the moment I gained control. The screen stayed on the, on the walls feasting for a good 20 seconds, and then cut back to the menu, which had changed to I'd continue to the menu. Selecting this simply brought the camera back to the walls, eating the boy, but it lasted about a minute. Afterwards, the walls turned away to show the skeleton of the boy, mostly picked clean. Try again would simply pan the selection for a minute. The game booted back to the menu and the bonus was now an option. I selected it and it was a close up of the boy's corpse. Still done within the limitations of the Game Boy Advance graphics, the other pieces of art were much of the same, showing the corpse in various states of decay. The last picture was much different, it was a wolf, foaming at the mouth and with the glowing red eyes and glittering teeth. As I exited the menu, I heard the snail come from the speakers. I decided to hit play again, but it just started at this point where I got eaten instantly. Upon exiting the emulator itself, the file deleted itself. Shame, I thought, as it was really creepy and also good fun. When I returned to the site, the post was different. It had the same title, but there was no text, and the picture was of that damn wolf with red eyes. It sent shivers down my spine whenever I thought about it. And occasionally while I do other things, I will hear howls from my speakers, or sometimes a snarl.